January 29th. But it is hardly credible that one could be so positively ignorant. Who art thou, Lord? Acts 26.15 The Lord spake thus to me with a strong hand. There is no escape when our Lord speaks. He always comes with an arrestment of the understanding. Has the voice of God come to you directly? If it has, you cannot mistake the intimate insistence with which it has been spoken to you in the language you know best, not through your ears, but through your circumstances. God has to destroy our self-determined confidence in our own convictions. I know this is what I should do, and suddenly the voice of God speaks in a way that overwhelms us by revealing the depths of our ignorance. We have shown our ignorance of Him in the very way we have determined to serve Him. We serve Jesus in a spirit that is not His. We hurt Him by our advocacy of Him. We push His claims in the spirit of the devil. Our words sound all right, but our spirit is that of an enemy. He rebuked them and said, Ye know not what manner of spirit ye are of. The spirit of our Lord in an advocate of His is described in 1 Corinthians 13. Have I been persecuting Jesus by a zealous determination to serve Him in my own way? If I feel I have done my duty and yet have hurt Him in doing it, I may be sure it was not my duty, because it has not fostered the meek and quiet spirit, but the spirit of self-satisfaction. We imagine that whatever is unpleasant is our duty. Is that anything like the Spirit of our Lord? I delight to do thy will, O my God.